Welcome to this MECO Graphics training session. Today I'm going to show you how to create a chart. The first step in creating a chart is to insert the chart into your PowerPoint slide and to add your data. So if you click on MECO Graphics in the PowerPoint ribbon and then choose your chart type, I'm going to select a change cascade. This will add the chart to your slide and will automatically open to a data sheet that's populated with dummy data, so that makes it easier for you to see how your data needs to be structured for this type of chart. Now there are a couple of ways that I can add my data. I can type it into this data sheet, I can copy it from Excel and paste it into the data sheet, or I can drive the chart directly from my Excel data. So in this case, I'm going to go to Excel, copy the data, and paste it into the data sheet. Now I'm also going to show you how to drive this off of your Excel data. So in Excel, I can choose MECO Graphics, and then I can decide whether I want to put the chart in Excel or in PowerPoint. In this case, let's just drop the chart into Excel so you can see what it looks like. There's my cascade chart. I'll pull it up here so you can see it. Now let's go back to PowerPoint to finish this chart. Now we'll move on to step two, which is to determine how we're going to show our data on the chart as both bars and series. If you click on bars and series in the MECO graphics ribbon, You'll see the series listed in this worksheet, and in this case, the last series, year-over-year -year sales growth, I don't want to show on the chart, but I do want to show it as a data row. I can go ahead and format that data row right here by choosing to show it as a percentage. I'll go over to the Bars tab, and you can see all the bars in the chart. I need to select which of these bars I want to be total bars. So I'm going to choose e-commerce total, which was a subtotal of the bars before it, and then I'm going to choose the final bar in the chart. If I close that down, you can see our chart is starting to take shape. So let's move on to step three and format this chart. If you choose chart, from the MECO Graphics ribbon, you can format the labels then the numbers. So let's start with the numbers or the values on the chart. I'm holding down the control key and I'm going to select bar totals and segment values. I'm going to format them together. I'll add a decimal place and I'll choose my currency as dollars. If you'll notice on the chart, my numbers are shown in millions. I'd like to simplify that and convert millions to billions without altering the underlying data. So I can do that by choosing a data scale of three. Now you can see the numbers are cleaner on the chart. But I do want to select units of billions so that's clear to the reader of the chart. Now let's format the labels on this chart. If you go to the general tab, you can see you can determine which labels you want to show. So I'm going to start by showing all the labels and including the series name and value. You can see on the chart that this base business label with the data is, is kind of repetitive. So there's a couple of ways I can remove it. I can use the control key and click on all of the labels for that series. Right click and hide them. Alternatively, I could have gone to the Label Manager and done that. I do want to highlight this Whole Foods series, so I'm going to pull that up and annotate it, and I did that by just right-clicking on the label so that you can see it a little bit easier on the chart. You can see that some of my bar labels are different sizes, so I can easily make them all the same size by drawing a box around them right-clicking, and then I can format them all together. I'll make them all 11. 
another alternative I could have done was to right click in the white space of the chart and select all labels on the chart and do the same thing. That would allow me to make every label on the chart the same size. Now one of the things that I like to do with a change cascade is to add an axis break so that the change bars are more prominent in the chart. So you can do that by selecting the axis, right clicking, and choosing insert axis break. Then if I click on that axis you'll see two dotted lines around it. I can just drag the dotted lines to change the size of the axis break. I can also right click and change the format. You like the wavy line or I like the diagonal as the symbol for an axis break. While we're talking about this axis you can see that the y-axis is somewhat repetitive in this chart because the bar totals give you all the information you need. So just for style purposes I'm going to hide the y-axis. If I go to the x-axis I can do the same thing, hide the x-axis. And there's your chart. So let's move on to the final step, step four, which is to add enhancements to reinforce your message. On this chart there's already an enhancement and it's a bar comparison line. It shows the difference between the Q3 2016 net sales and the Q3 2017 net sales. It's a common use case to use a bar comparison line on a change cascade. So since we selected that specific style of cascade, that bar comparison line was already included in the quick launch chart. So I don't need to add it, but I would like to format it. So if I click on, I'm going to just click on the label. If I right click, I can choose to format the bar comparison line. You can change which bars it compares, and I can also do that by dragging the comparison line, but I just want to change what's included. So I want it to show both the value and the calculated percentage. And remember, we formatted these values on the chart to all be dollar signs billion, so I want my bar comparison line to show the same. So you can see now that the quarter to quarter improvement in sales was $11 billion or 34%. And the data row on this chart helps us see that Amazon Web Services was growing at a much faster rate than the North America and international businesses for Amazon. So there's your chart. Thanks for watching this Mechographics training video.